Welcome to the PFO channel. I'm Jim. People have asked me, what does PFO stand for anyway? Well, with regard to this particular video, it might stand for probably figured it out. At least we hope that applies. We'll have to see. What we're trying to figure out is a good way to transport our e-bikes on the back of our travel trailer. How hard could it be? Well, it turns out it's maybe not as easy as I thought it would be, but I do think we've got it figured out. In the first of this two-part series, check out the playlist in the link below, we attached the uh, hitch receiver bar, which is welded to the stubs coming off the back of the travel trailer frame. Seems pretty solid to me. In this video, we're going to unbox the rack itself, assemble it, put it on the back of the travel trailer, load up the bikes, and have a look. The rack that we chose is a Swagman E-Spec e-bike rack. It's rated for two bikes up to 72 pounds apiece, which is exactly where we're at with our bikes, and it's specifically rated for use on the back of a travel trailer. Give it a watch and see what you think. I've got a thick skin. Leave some comments. I'd like to hear your input. In any case, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's get on with it. So uh, let's open it up and see what it's like. These are the troughs for the bike. Now I also ordered uh, the fat tire attachments. You order them separately, but they're for the, for the fat tire. You can see the, the difference between those. Next. It's cold out here, I mentioned that. Got my fleece and my barn coat, and I'm not heating up yet. Got my barn coat because I'm in my barn. Or is this a chore coat? I don't know. I think I don't know if they call this a barn coat. I'm in a barn with it, therefore it is a barn coat, whether they call it that or not. Is that not the fact? Of course that would make this a barn fleece. And these barn pants and barn shoes, barn hat, etc. Maybe it's a chore coat. Uh, forget to, okay, we'll try not. Now I insert the bike rack into the two inch receiver. That's outside in the cold. I'm glad I did all that welding underneath the back of that trailer last night when it was uh, actually quite mild out. We've had about a about a 30 degree difference in the high. Yesterday it was about maybe 75. And today I think it's going to go up to 45 as a high. Let's go get a bike. setup difficulties. I'm going to have to figure that out because once I get the weight of that on there, I don't have enough strength to hold that up with one hand enough to be able to wiggle that thing. Now this can go down and See how this feels. I 
ideally I want that right in that low spot. So what that means is I need to shift my front bike about that far north. This will steady me while doing so. Uh, or not. Yeah, if I can put my hand through there. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see some black smudge marks on there after the first road trip. But that one is set up. All right, they're on. They're all on and strapped down. And now I found a, a position for the the trays so that the lower or the long hook goes low on the bar and it hits the lowest spot on this crossbar and the short hook sits higher on the bar and it hits the lowest spot on this crossbar and with the pedals out of the way you can actually you can actually access both of the keys and that was a problem when the pedals were, were all up in here. They not only were rubbing on the adjacent bike and each other, the pedals were, uh, but they were obscuring the, the uh, key mechanisms for those two sliders. So I think we've got it good. So we, we've locked down the wheel trays and all that fine tuning should not be necessary next time we Put them up there. Uh, I'm definitely going to take those batteries off before we actually tow it. I'm not hooked up to go anywhere right now. I'm just rigging it up. Uh, the batteries will help lighten the load putting them on and off and it'll be less less mass bouncing on the back of this trailer going down the road and the, the welded on receiver looks like it's going to do its job too. So I'm happy with that job. I'm happy with the products and I'm happy with the installation and it's all good. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. Bye now.